Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Gen Y Torsion 2 ball mount with the stacked receivers for a 2.5 inch hitch. It has a 32,000 pound gross towing weight capacity. Now this is an adjustable ball mount. This will let you hook up your trailer to your tow vehicle. Back here it has this solid shank that will slide into a 2.5 inch hitch receiver on your vehicle. And then up front you have your choice of either a 2 and 5 16 diameter ball or a flip it over to a 2 inch diameter ball. These will provide the connection points for your trailer coupler. Also included with this part number is this pintle lock accessory right here. Now when this is paired with the larger 2 and 5 16 diameter ball, it will provide a connection point for a lunette ring coupler. And the lunette ring couplers are the large heavy duty uh, trailers that have the large ring in the front. Basically that ring drops up over the ball and then to hold it in place is this pintle lock. So I just wanted to show you, <clears throat> if I pop up that insert you'll be able to see the lunette ring coupler there over the ball and then this pintle lock holding it in place. And basically the way you would operate that is just take off your clip, take out your pin, slide this out of the way and then go ahead and connect to the lunette ring. Once you drop that lunette ring coupler over there, then you slide this over the lunette ring. Line it up with your hole, take your pin, slide it through, put your clip in to secure it. And then just like that, that'll lock that ring over the ball, keep it from being disconnected. If you're not going to use it with the lunette ring coupler, you can also store it away. There's a second hole in here that if you push this back far enough, you can store it in the shank. And it'll keep that pin to lock out of the way. And then you can use the balls for just a regular trailer coupler connection. Go ahead and put the clip back on. There we go. <clears throat> now the capacity on this is going to be determined by the ball size you use. So if you use the larger 2 and 5 16 diameter ball, it gives you a gross towing weight capacity of 32,000 pounds, maximum tongue weight of 3,500 pounds. If you flip this ball mount over and use the smaller 2 inch diameter ball, it will give you a gross towing weight capacity of 16,000 pounds, maximum tongue weight of 1,500 pounds. Now if you notice it has the four stacked receivers, these are two and a half inch size receivers. They will accept the included ball mount and the pintle lock as well as other hitch mounted accessories. Comes with the two three quarter inch diameter stainless steel pins with the clips. These are included to secure the ball mount to the shank and the pintle lock to the shank. And I wanted to mention this clip they use is a twist clip. It's a really unique design. It's a lot easier to install and remove than your standard clips that you'll see on pins. This one you can see has a twist to it. And the way you remove it is just twist it. And it'll remove just like that. Slide your pin out. And then when you install it back in, you just put it into the hole there. And then push it. And then as you push it, it'll twist into place. Very easy to install or remove. <clears throat> Now the adjustable height right here, this will let you tow trailers of different heights with the same vehicle. Works well if you have a lifted truck. And this ball mount can basically be put in any one of these locations. They can be lowered or raised to match your application. If you put this right now, it's in the drop position. So if you put it this way and then put this in the lowest position, it'll give you a maximum drop of six inches. If you flip this over the shank into the rise position and put this in the highest position, it'll get you a maximum rise of six inches. But just to show you how to move the ball mount, same way, you just remove the clip, remove the pin, and then all you have to do is slide your ball mount out just like that. If you want to flip it over to use the smaller two inch ball and then like I said you can put it in either one of these. We're just going to put it right back in the same location. Line the hole up with the pin. Once you get that hole lined up, just like that, slide it through. Take your clip again, put it in the hole, push it and just like that it's installed and now you've switched over, flipped it over to the two inch size. <clears throat> Now this is a shock absorbing design, ensures a nice smooth steady ride. The technology on this will function just like a torsion axle. It will limit the transfer of road shock from the trailer to the vehicle and vice versa. And what's nice about this, there's no airbags that you have to maintain and it uses fewer moving parts that might have to be repaired or replaced than with some of those other shock absorbing solutions that are out there. Now the other nice feature on this is it offers a tongue weight scale which is built in to help you balance your trailer. And to show you that, we're going to zoom in. And right over here, if you notice, there's your tongue weight scale. This 
built-in mechanical tongue weight scale lets you know if the load needs to be adjusted before you tow. If you notice at the top it has a small red area. That small red area indicates the minimum tongue weight of zero pounds. You can see the white marker here is pointing to that right now because there's no load on it. The larger red area right down here, that's going to indicate the maximum tongue weight of 3,500 pounds. So the thing is when you get this all loaded and hooked up, <clears throat> that white marker should be put pointing or marked into this green area. That green area means the tongue weight scale is right where you want it. The ideal working tongue weight is between 2,000 and 3,500 pounds, so you want that white marker to be in that green area. Now this is a nice heavy duty steel construction. They use a zinc primer on it and then a nice powder coat finish on it to resist corrosion. Now right here, there's two hitch pin holes. You, it does require a hitch pin and clip or a hitch lock for securing it to the hitch receiver. Those items are not included. You would have to supply those or we do sell them separately. It does offer two different size hitch pin holes. The front one is 5 eighths of an inch. The back one is larger 3 quarters of an inch. This is SAE J684 certified. It is made in the USA. Application again fits two and a half inch by two and a half inch trailer hitch receivers. And the last thing I do want to mention on this, this ball mount does have many different dimensions to it. So what I do recommend for you to do is go to the product page of this part number and we'll have a picture of this with all the dimensions on it. And then you can verify any dimension that you might need for your application. But that should do it for the review on the Gen Y Torsion 2 ball mount with the stacked receivers for a two and a half inch hitch has a 32,000 pound gross towing weight capacity.